So to get started, open up ResearchSetup.exe and go to Browse. You'll have the link to download it, so don't worry. Go to Game Folder, Battlefield Bat Company 2 folder, or wherever it is located. Select bbc 2 gameexe and install it as DirectX 9 for now. You'll have to wait a lot of time for the uh, shaders to be downloaded. Sometimes it takes way too long for the server problem, perhaps, I'm not sure. Because sometimes it's very quick and sometimes slow. After that, uh, while it is being downloaded, I'll open up Reshade GI Beta 0.24, which will have to be down, uh, which you have to download from Pascal Glitches Patreon. You'll do that and you'll just drag in. Okay, so that is also in stores. What is next? Well, next is you're gonna have to drag the preset file, bbc2.ini, replace since I already had it. And then we'll have to wait for these to be installed. While it is downloading, we're gonna go to our browser. We're gonna go to this exact link. And I'm gonna give you the link to, to actually go there. So, go over there. Discussion and then go to this, click on there, and then download this reshade uh, 4.9.1 mod.exe. And when you download that, you'll have something like this. Okay, but since this is downloading, I'm gonna wait until it downloads and then I'm gonna do things with this because BFC does not let you to use reshade. And now we're able to do it by doing some abracadabra, right? So 96, 98, 100. Oh, please take, stop taking so long to download this. This is just some effects. I don't get it. I literally can download a lot of big games so quickly, and, and this thing is taking that long. Why? Before. It was a masterpiece. This was great. I played it at 826. But this, however, is a disgrace. Look at me, how, how little bit of time we played this. It wasn't good at all. Anyway, so this is downloaded. We're going to close it. After that, we're going to open up the uh, modder.exe. Double click on here. Click here. Browse. You're going to have to browse your game. And then you'll have to select. Uh, before you do that, well, you're going to have to delete d3d.9.dll. Uh, delete it. And then select this. And it is installed. Once that is done, you have to find the d3d9.dll f2 and then name it dxgi and then hit enter. You're done. You also install the preset. So what is next? Well, there are some process after the game opens up. So we'll open this game up right now. And we'll wait until we get into a video game. Uh, I mean a match. So let's just wait. See, uh, <coughs> our stuff is ready, but there are some stuff to do. And we're also working on Vietnam, so the Vietnam version will release, and and once I'm done with making the graphics map, it's going to be free. So, where do I have to log in every, every single time? Okay, so we're going to search for a server, because obviously people don't play this game too much. We'll open up this, and by the way, I'm gonna warn you not to open up New Dream Gaming and Nemo Skull because the admins in these two servers are bad people, and they always kick you for playing too good. Last time I remember, I I took down the admin because he was a sniper and he was camping, so I I was behind him and I used an UAV to take him down, and he was so angry that he kicked me out of the servers, telling me that I'm a noob. Excuse me, what? You're the real noob, because you, literally, are an admin, kicked a player for being too good, for beating you. You're such a crybaby. Anyway, back to the game. We're loading up, and we're going to enter the battle. Okay? Can you see that? The, the lighting changes, the reflection and the light. The, the, the light from the sun is hitting the wasp perhaps and there's a light created and that light indirectly bounces on our weapon so when you turn off the global image there's no bounce light and when you open it up i mean turn it on you see the bounce light this is so mind-blowing this way is one of the most blading edge technologies 
these days. And it is now possible with reshaped. So we're gonna click on escape, go to option, and then we're gonna go to settings because this is very important, a very important part. And if you miss it, this mod is not gonna work. So go to advanced, and down here in anti-aliasing, set it to 1s MSAA because we have better FXAA and two. Setting to 1x MSAA will make the mod work perfect. So, off on, and look at that um, draw distance off on. It's it's completely wide when we turn it off, but when we turn it on, the fog is gone. So anyway, we're gonna go to home, go to preset tab, and select bfbc 2ini All right, let's check RTGI. It is turned on. Yes, and and. The depth buffer is working, which means it can interact with the 3D objects and finally, you know, give you the graphics that you want. And that is it. A tutorial is done, and thank you for watching. Hit like if you wanna. Subscribe for more new tutorials, and you're gonna get these files from links I'm gonna give you in the description. And you can watch the uh, graphics mod showcasing video where I showed all the. Uh, changes and all the graphics in 4k it's a, it's a good gameplay and graphics showcasing with side by side comparison if you would like to watch that i'm going to give you the link to my main channel as well but until we meet again goodbye and i'm going to have some fun playing the video game in ray tracing